If you're interested in learning about crappie fishing, cat fishing, and maybe even some bass fishing, you're on the right channel. Oh, look at here. There's a brush pile right there. We're gonna fling the live scope overboard and see if we can't uh, find us a fish to catch out of that real fast. All right, I don't know if you can see it with the glare of sunshine, but there's a lay down right here in front of me that I found with the side imaging. And there's fish hanging down inside that lay down. You watched my last video, I mentioned about uh, keeping your jig bright when using this live scope. Always keep it the color or the brightness of the fish that you're trying to catch. Well, something else that's pretty pretty important also is that your jig is pretty will be pretty good size going down there sometimes, especially in shallow water. And if you see that your the jig you're using is about the same size as the fish that's after it, heck, you might as well leave because that's just little old bitty fish. They can look a lot bigger on this screen than what they actually are um, you won't and you know that by the size the comparison of the jig that you're using versus the image that shows up of the fish down there that's all around it trying to get it sometimes i mean i was guilty at the beginning especially you pull up and see a bunch of them boy and fish swimming all down in there and you're fishing fishing for them and getting these little bites and can't catch them well, heck, it's them little old tiny bluegills or something. Oh, that's one right there. And that's a big bluegill if that's what it is. Yeah, hey, look at here. Good black crappie. Hey, come. These are some good ones in here. Come on over here now. There we go. Hey, be still. Dang, he's a nice one too. They ain't going to bite too awful fast, but man, when you get one, they're good ones. Heck yeah. We'll let him go and come back when we get hungry and get him.